Oh no! Whatever shall we do? Shame this cyborg, but he doesn't have any built-in weapons. Hmm. Huh. Oh. Hmm. Wait, does that actually hurt? One ninety-four. Apparently not. what that is supposed to look like. But we only have one item to use. So that thing can somehow be deflected by a bowl. Well pick it up. Well, jailbreak stuff I've seen on TV and in movies. Seems like it would be a general good idea to have a, a lock that cannot be reached from inside the cell. Hello. So you got out? How did you manage? Oh, adventure game logic, to be honest. And that shadow makes it look like she has a nasty unibrow. No, wait. We can't get out that easily. You must absolutely find a plan first. Come and free me when you know how to get us out of here. And by plan, I guess she means a terminal? Which would... Oh, hey. Green sparklies. Oh, that's actually supposed to be between those spikes on top of the wall of fence. Seems a bit odd architecture for indoors. And hello. Hmm. Now, if we try to go through the door in front, this guy is going to notice and, well, shoot me. Mm, can pick that up. What about this, whatever this is? Nope. But at least we have a plan. Seems like that's a bit of a downside with people having, you know, these, well, practically bags of holding surgically grafted to their forearms. Well, a um, bit weird that the guard doesn't notice if I just walk up to him. Should be fairly obvious case. Hmm? Um, do I have enough? Yeah, that should be enough mana. Here we go. Yes, you are forced to do this. Uh, if I could... 
could manage to examine that, it would say that yeah, it's a shell without a soul that... And I'll miss it. Ah, let's see what... Oh. See what kind of person we have now. Okay, violent and merciless. Mm, excellent marksman. Eagle stack on all groups, be away, open slow, no hates books, degenerate morals of the young anarchy. Mm. But this is going to be just a thing to help me get out of here. With your new body, we should be able to get out, no problem. I'll pretend I'm your prisoner. I'll go first. Follow me. Wait a minute, I see something in your cell. Namely, this. No, one thing I don't get about these uniforms or equipment is that thing that basically just looks like a white shroud going over the nose and cheekbones. And Jenna just went and ran off. Yeah, that's not going to raise any suspicion. Or whatever, let's see if there's anything in anywhere in here. I doubt it, but you never know. Hmm, why is this door depressed while the others are flush with the wall? Hey there. Yeah, this isn't creepy at all. Pass the fast talk check. Where are you going with this prisoner, soldier? Hmm. Commanded Gandhar in his demon form, so let's try Have this. You got your orders? Mm. All right, you can go through. Oh, well, that was surprisingly easy. Now you think an authoritarian dystopia like this would place a lot of weight on? proper bureaucracy. Now I'm sure of it. There's a traitor among us. Someone informed Criff Mashrud of our plans and he set a trap for us. But who? Maybe it was you! Or maybe it was David Bowie. Maybe it was me! I wouldn't know. I'm just inhabiting this body. Um... Let's just... I don't really even remember which is which. That sort of accusation is too serious to be made lightly. Conduct your investigation at the base and find the culprit. You might find clues by searching the rooms. But make it discreet. You must not arouse their suspicions until we have proof. Ah, I think she is going to say that no matter what we pick. Or maybe Socks is the traitor. Maybe he was dis Maybe he was secretly programmed to betray us all. Hmm. 
Oh, before that, I want to go check out this guy's apartment. have the front door to the Tetra facility even though we cannot use it in any way. Actually from what I've read there is a character that you could reincarnate into who is supposed to be in the Tetra facility but the problem is you there's no way to actually get to him so you can access that character by editing the save file. Hmm. Why not? Let's let's go take a look at that place. <laughs> yeah. Now oh, this thing seems much bigger on the inside. Maybe it's built by the Time Lords. Yeah, I can't open it. I think this is where this guy's apartment is. Well, maybe you'll get to see the game over from being defeated by a demon. Hi. I like how abstract these guys look like. Hmm. Luckily, this one just isn't putting much, up, putting up much of a fight right now. Hey, that's an interesting move. Standing on your hands and kicking around in the air. As usual, we get some magic rings out of it, and one of these is a mana potion, I suppose. Or a life potion. Yeah, a mana potion. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this was the right place. Uh -uh, anything here? No, can't even open it. Hmm. Beer? Well, his profile said that he does like his beer. Noodles. This is a proper bachelor pad. What have we here? Stuff about tar combat. Ah, uh, blah blah blah. Mm, for tar techniques, so are those each supposed to respond to light and strong punch and kick? And if I know. Um, well, we won't certainly meet that anymore. Okay, and this is Transcan. Well, now that I have one. Drink Quetta Cola, the energizing drink with radioactive Quanta extract. Quetta Cola, the drink for today's youth. Be cool, be in. Drink Quetta Cola, the happiness drink. Health warning abuse of Quetta Cola can lead to the early destruction of your brain cells. Hmm. You know, this kind of reminds me of the. Uh, 
of the commercials in Robocop. Um, yeah, but we can do this. Hello. Hmm. That's convenient. So why not? Let's pick up the ammunition we had for the Hypro before. So yeah, we still have the transcanate inventory. Oh, hello! It's been a while since we got to do this! Ah, you're sleeping, David Cage. Feeling sad and lonely? Like life's just not worth living anymore? Fortunately, there's Kloop's beer! The very first swig will wake you up! Its inimitable taste will quench your thirst and flood your brain with bubbles of happiness. So don't forget, Kloop's beer. The one beer to have when you're having more than one. I just realized, I think that shirt says Cage. <sighs> okay, well, that's all from here. I'll just leave the Hyper and Mega Zoo gum. And yeah, the trans can too. Now I need to get more octagon ammo. How much money do I have anyway? Huh, surprisingly lot. But we will not be handling the investigation in this video. No, instead I want to get out of this body since it seems a bit boring of character, this fellow. So we are going to have ooh more money. Brings up to an even nine hundred, I think. Let's have another case of voting for the new incarnation. So I shall be showing off the new characters we have access to at the moment. First up, we have this big fellow here, Ganji. Feel free to provide your own marijuana joke. He is the Omicron wrestling champion who loves discipline, hates weakness. And, hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. And his snake appears to be protruding quite a bit from his left forearm. Is it on the right forearm? I guess the snake is on the right forearm. What the hell is that thing on your left arm? Over oh, here we have Iman. She is modeled after David Bowie's wife. She is a high class bodyguard and master of the tough fighting techniques. Here, launching at the corner of the temple, we have Itzama. He has taken his dedication to fighting to such an extreme that, among other modifications to his body, he has a steel mask grafted to his face and he has disconnected he his pain nerves. Here's a face we've been before, Kumar, who has dedicated was dedicated to revenge against Tetra and had lost his leg to those cyberdogs I think and had it replaced by a nice little cyber leg. Around the corner from the previous one we have another familiar face, Xiao the nonconformist thief and well not much else to say about her. Here, perusing the books, we have Tahim Tahima. She works for the Konsu Trust, programming mecha guards, and she loves all things electronic, including the music. 
and camping below the transmitter antenna is Quasmaad, I believe, burnt out former mercenary who was sunk into alcoholism. He loves his drink, he hates everything about Omicron. This is a uh, Hunabku, I think. Yet another guy dedicated to the tar fighting techniques. He can ignore pain this time without neurosurgery. And he has quite an interesting hair pattern. Uh, did that toast bolt spots come about naturally or did you shave it like that? Here doing, uh, I guess, Tai Chi exercises in a world where Tai Chi probably doesn't exist is Namat. He is a tech ball champion playing for the Anekba Islanders. He loves the game, the fame, the money, and he hates to be modest. I dug into the game files and some editor programs to see what I could do to get the missing character out. The best I could was to replace uh, the model of an, a character you can get to with it. So here we have, obviously, the wrong description here. It's an interesting look to him, I think. Anyway, this is was done. And, hmm, let's see. Can I do this? Yes. Oh. Not enough mana. Ah, we can fix that, I think. So did I lose mana with that? No. Now was done. I well, I found his description and stats from a website. He is or has been conditioned since childhood to become a member of the special forces of the Konshu Trust. He enjoys. Ah, uh, he's quite romantic and actually has a. An affair with a wealthy heiress named Sananda, I think. Who actually is a character we can meet later on and possess. So that's a nice bit of interconnectivity. So, well, she's not going to <laughs> react to this in any way since this just looks like it's just a switched model. Anyway, you cast your votes. And uh, previously in listed characters are also uh, still up on the table. I believe I went through those at the end of video number 10. Of course, you can also vote for me to keep that guard or use this body though with someone else's description. So I can edit the uh, numeral statistics to match what they should be. So, you cast your votes and I'll tally them up in a few days or so.